Thank you for joining Edplay's live lessons from your homes. I'm Miss Miller and you've joined us for a science lesson today. We're an online digital learning platform written by teachers for students in year one to year 11, offering English, maths, science and 11 plus self-marked activities, all written by fully qualified teachers. We're bringing live English, maths and science lessons into your homes during the school closure period. So why not join us over the next few weeks as we tackle some key topics? You might find it useful to have a pen and paper handy as we go, so that you can make a note of key ideas or jot things down. You'll also need to access your Edplace account. If you don't have an Edplace account, do not worry. You can access all of our activities if you go to www.edplace.com. We'll go over this in more detail when we get to that part. So welcome to today's Year 8 Science lesson on atoms, elements and compounds with Miss Miller. By the end of today's lesson, we're aiming to have achieved either one or all of the following three steps. Explain the difference between elements and compounds. Identify elements and compounds shown in diagrams. Recognise elements and compounds from their formula. Let's check we understand what we mean by the words atom, element and compound. Atoms are the basic building blocks of all matter on Earth, and they're very tiny, far too small to be seen with the naked eye. Substances can be categorised as either elements or compounds. Both of these are made up of atoms. The only difference is an element is made up of one type of atom, whereas compounds are made up of two or more different types of atom. Let's take a closer look at these one by one. An atom is the smallest particle that can exist. Everything is made from atoms. Atoms are shown in diagrams as small circles. An element is made up of one type of atom only. For example, a piece of pure copper is made up of only copper atoms. There are 118 known elements on Earth and they're all listed in the periodic table. A compound is a substance made up of two or more atoms of different elements, chemically joined or bonded together. For example, carbon dioxide gas, CO2, consists of one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms bonded together. A molecule describes two or more atoms bonded together. All compounds are molecules and some elements are too. The atoms of some elements, like neon, do not join together and instead exist on their own as individual atoms. These are not molecules. The atoms of other elements, however, like hydrogen, join together as pairs, making a molecule. Imagine you're presented with diagrams of different substances. It's very easy to become bogged down with the keywords, but only two keywords will need to be applied to each diagram. A good rule to use is to decide first whether a substance is an atom or a molecule. Then decide whether the substance is an element or a compound. Atoms of the same element in diagrams will be drawn as the same size and they'll be the same colour, as shown here in the oxygen molecule. If the atoms are of different elements, they'll be a different colour or size, as shown here in the water molecule. Elements and compounds are not always displayed as diagrams. Symbols are used to represent elements and each element from the periodic table has a symbol. This symbol can be made up of one or two letters, but it always starts with a capital letter. For example, the symbol for nitrogen is N and the symbol for lithium is Li. A formula is a shorthand way of showing the elements in a compound. The formula for sodium chloride is NaCl. This compound must be made up of two elements as there are two capital letters present in the formula. By consulting the periodic table, you can discover that this compound is made up of one sodium atom and one chlorine atom. Take extra care when writing down the symbols of elements in the periodic table, paying close attention to whether the letters should be in upper or lower case. For example, writing CO instead of CO completely changes the substance in question. C capital O is the formula for the compound carbon monoxide, a deadly colourless gas. 
whereas C lowercase o is the symbol for the element cobalt, a magnetic metal found in the Earth's crust. In a moment, I'm going to direct you to an activity you can use to practice what we've just learned. Please log into your EdPlace account or go to www.edplace.com. The next slide will show you the activity we're going to try today. The activity we're looking for is called Compounds. Whether you have an EdPlace account or not, we follow a very similar path to find it. Those of you with an account go straight to Science. Those of you without go to the Learn tab on the website, then to Science. After this, our route is the same. We go to Year 8, select the Curriculum tab, and then go to Chemistry, Atoms, Elements and Compounds. We need to find the group of activities under Atoms, Elements and Compounds. Take a look through and you should find one titled Compounds. Please click on the activity to start. If you're struggling to find this activity, please visit our support site on screen for a quick walkthrough on how to locate activities. I just want to make sure we're all in the same place. This is the introduction you should be able to see. If you can't see this as the introduction to the activity, please just go back to the worksheets and check you've selected the correct one, according to the previous slide. If you can see this slide, you're ready to start. As soon as you're ready, please pause my lesson and start the activity. I will go through three of the questions in the next stage of the lesson, so don't worry if you get stuck. Good luck. Let's begin with question one. We need to identify the compound amongst the list of elements. The answer is that water is a compound, as it requires two different elements to form. Water is comprised of hydrogen and oxygen atoms, two hydrogen atoms to one oxygen atom, which is why its formula is H2O. Next up, let's take a look at the image in question three. If we look closely at the molecule, we can see that it has two grey atoms, which represent carbon, six blue atoms, representing hydrogen, and one red atom, which is oxygen. It has three elements combined to form the compound, so it can't be H2O or CH4, as they both contain just two elements. The molecule shown is ethanol, which is better known as alcohol. In question six, the reactants are potassium and oxygen. It's not until after they've reacted that oxygen can become an oxide. The reactant must be on the left of the arrow, as the product is on the right, making our answer C, potassium oxide. Let's recap what we set out to do today. How did you feel you did? Can you now explain the difference between elements and compounds? Can you identify these when represented in diagrams? And can you recognise elements and compounds from the letters in their formulas? If you feel confident with one or all of these, well done. You've achieved our objectives for today. We know that some of you will feel you need a little more practice to really master these skills, while others of you are ready for your next challenge. To help you know which activity to select next, here are some suggestions. The activity we just tried is listed as activity two. If it felt a little tricky for you, why not try activity one to gain confidence in the knowledge you need, then give it another go to see if you're more ready to tackle it this time. If you're looking to develop your understanding further, try activities three, four or five. Just notice that activity five can be found in the year 10 section of our site. It doesn't matter which activity you choose, just go for the one which feels best for you. Good luck. As we finish up for today, here are other places you can find us or access support. For more tips and ideas, why not check out www.edplace.com. You can follow us on Twitter at edplace underscore UK or join our Facebook group, Edplace Home Learning Community.